are said to grow to five feet in length. Is that the stuff a legend? Or do these monster salamanders really exist? There may be a place where I can find this out. Kinosaki Marine World in Japan claims to have the world's largest Japanese giant salamander and amazingly are willing to let me measure it. But first I have to catch this monster. That's big. It looks a lot bigger in here than it did through the glass. That's the net. Catching a salamander the size of a crocodile suddenly doesn't seem like such a great idea. What is that? His head's on my foot. Hang on, that's not good. Whoa! Here he comes. It takes all of our strength to lift him off the water. Launch me with his tail. Get him in there. Get him in there. Push. Woo! That's a big salamander. I don't know what the tape measure is going to say, but in my book, that's a giant. There we go, 144 centimeters, spot on. That's four feet, nine inches. That's almost five foot of giant salamander. In fact, five feet is the maximum length ever recorded for a Japanese giant salamander which makes this animal one of the largest amphibians in the world. I mean, it's incredible. Its head is larger than a human head. And look, human head, giant salamander head. Oh. Giant salamander. I'd be the first person ever bitten in the face by a giant salamander. Look at that. It's looking for a little payback. Hang on, we got a salamander on the loose. We need to get him back in here. Next up, wait. All right. Oh. 36 kilos. Man, that's almost 80 pounds of giant Japanese salamander. Man, that is huge. That's got to be a record. A crocodile of the same length would only weigh a fraction of this. This big boy is well fed, that's for sure. I've caught a lot of salamanders in my life, and all of them that could fit in my hand. Hey, I got it. I got it. Go, go. So for a herpetologist like me, holding this five foot, 80 pound salamander is literally a dream come true. but is the Japanese giant the king of all salamanders. The Greater Siren has its unusual gills, no back legs, and a wicked spin. Greater Siren. So slippery. The two-toed Amphiuma has those curious legs and a serious bite. So I do not want this thing to bite me on the nose. The Japanese giant salamander wins hands down for bulk and sheer size. That's a face only a mother could love. But my vote goes to the Hellbender. It has the coolest name. Hellbender Bar. It's got a nice sound to it, right? And it tastes even worse than it looks. Oh. <coughs> as far as I'm concerned, the Hellbender is the king of the salamander. Six hundred volts of shocking power in a terrifying seven-foot package. How do you capture one of these dangerous giants? Right there, see it? Right there. Where's the net? Without getting badly shocked or killed in the process. People have drowned. I mean, once you're stunned by this electric eel. I'm Brady Barr, and I'm on a mission to find a new species of giant electric eel. <laughs> oh! Yeah, I fell 
felt him! I felt him! Oh! We'll use the latest technology to track them down. Pop, pop, pop. Study them. Oh, it's just one big discharge. Bang. Ah. Let's go. Let's go. And when we're done, we'll make an amazing discovery. We got it! We got it! I've been attacked by my share of deadly creatures over the years. But the animals that really get my heart pumping Careful, there's his tail. are the He's ones you don't see coming. Ah! Ah! He's on me! God! He's gone! So today, I'm after a frightening and elusive creature that we know very little about. The electric eel. It can stun both predators and prey with hundreds of volts of electricity. I've heard rumors that there may be more than one species of electric eel in existence. I'm hoping science can help me get to the bottom of this mystery. I'm headed to one of the few truly wild places left on the planet, the rainforest of central Suriname, and I'm after a shocking animal. Electrophorus electricus, better known as the electric eel. To find these deadly eels, I'm headed deep into the South American country of Suriname. There's a river there, the Copanami, where giant electric eels are known to exist. Surrounded by 6,000 square miles of pristine rainforest, it's a wild and breathtakingly beautiful territory. I'm meeting up with an old friend, Dr. Will Crampton of the University of Central Florida, an expert on all kinds of electric fish. We're heading up the Copanami to an area we've been told has ideal eel habitat. So, Will, in the electric eel world, there's been a debate whether there's one or possibly two species of electric eel. Well, the current story is there's, there's one species, Electrophorus electricus. But some people say there may be actually two species with different morphologies. One um, has a thick neck and a, and a stout body, and the other has a slender neck and a much thinner, more, more slender and thin body. 